Hi, my name is Chris and a while back I made this video about how you can transform your add to cart button into a pre-sale or pre-order button without using any apps. And because that tutorial was using the Dawn 5 theme, I thought that I should make an update. Now we have the version 14 of the Dawn theme and I'm going to do the same thing. So I have here a Dawn 14 on which I've already changed everything. So if I go in preview and go to one of the products that have that pre-order button, you're gonna have the pre-order text here and you're gonna have the pre-order policy underneath as I've done in the other tutorial the only thing you have to do is to go and mark this product with a pre-order tag and I'm gonna show you how that looks in the back end so if we go to the product you're gonna have to add a pre-order tag which is here and because the tag is there you're gonna be able to change the add to cart text into a text that you want maybe pre-order you could also add a pre-order policy or a link down below and one thing that was missing in the other tutorial is the variant switcher so now if you click on the variant switcher the text doesn't change back to add to cart I know that was an issue there and it wasn't built to be used with variants now it is so so let's see how that can be done first you have to tag your product once you have the product tagged you're gonna head into your themes now because I already have this theme worked I'm gonna make a duplicate once in here you're gonna look for buy buttons and this is the difference from the other version that had the buttons inside the product main template now they introduced a new snippet which is buy buttons now the buy buttons are in the buy button snippet and in here you're gonna look for the button so you're gonna scroll down and look for something like this button and to make sure that is your button and if the theme is not live you can do that you just add some character after the translation here and the new thing is also that they reversed the logic before they they had if product available the text and then if out of stock the text and now it's reversed first they start with sold out and then they start with the normal text this should be the add to cart text and if i save now we should have an x and here it is so let's go and delete that x and we're gonna add the following logic we can do this somewhere here this checks to see if the certain product has the pre-order tag so this tag can be anything you can decide for yourself i just added the pre-order tag to the product and now i'm looking with this liquid logic to see if the pre-order tag exists on the product and if it does it sets this variable to true and i'm going to save that and as I said earlier, now we want to display here instead of the add to cart text, the pre-order text in case the product has the pre-order tag. So I'm going to add this logic. If pre-order true, so this one here, if this is true, then display the pre-order text. If not, we're gonna add the add to cart text. So I'm gonna save this for now. But in order to show the pre-order text, we have to go and add a translation for it. As you can see here, because of this filter here, this is a translation that we need to add in our translation file. Depending on the languages you are using and which is your default language, you're gonna go inside here and I'm gonna go into my English default and I am going to go to product. So in the products translations, I am going to add the following translations. You're gonna go after the add to cart text you're gonna enter and you're gonna insert these two translations pre-sale and you can you can have here whatever you want so you can add what text you want and this is also editable from the customized dashboard and this one is for the policy in case you want to use a policy then you're gonna save and if I refresh now the text says pre-order right I'm gonna show you how you can add the buy button now this is also the dynamic button in case you have payment gateways that display a button here you're gonna see a Google Pay or an Apple Pay so you probably don't want to show that if you're pre-selling I'm gonna show you how you can hide it real quick in here in the buy buttons you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna look for this dynamic checkout instead of just displaying this you're gonna say unless pre-order true show the dynamic form and that will ensure that whenever you have a pre-sale going on that page the buy button the dynamic buy button will not show if I save this the dynamic button which is this one should disappear and now if you want to add the policy text you're just gonna go underneath this product form 
hit enter and in there you're gonna add the following logic if pre-order true then show this translation and you can have here actually anything you would like you can have a p tag you can have an anchor tag you can even style this the way you want let me just save and show you how it looks like this this is just going to be a text that's coming from the translation again so in the translation file you have this pre-order policy and it looks like that underneath your button one problem that this had in the last video was that if your product had variants once you've clicked on a variant the text here would change to add to cart and then it would not revert back so that's why you couldn't use this with products that have variants but this has also a quick fix and I'm going to show you now what you have to do you're going to go to your theme.liquid and in your theme.liquid you're going to scroll down until you find something looking like this and in here in the window variant strings you're going to replace this line with the following logic so you're going to have if product tags contain pre-order add to cart pre-sale else add to cart this will ensure that if the product has variants once you click those variants the text will remain as pre-order instead of changing back to add to cart like it does now so let me refresh now if the text is pre-order if i click on variants the text remains as pre-order so all these variants have the pre-order text unfortunately we cannot pre-order one of the variants separately because this is done with product tags and there are no variant tags we can just pre-order a product and the variants inside as you can see this button says now pre-order if i go to any of the other products it says add to cart and it has a dynamic button but once i go to a product that has the pre-order tag then we're gonna just have the pre-order button and the pre-order policy underneath if you choose to use it to make things easier i've organized everything into a pdf document where i outline the steps that you have to take and the code that you have to paste and where you have to paste it if you want to access that document you can find it inside our community and you can find the link for that in the description of this video i hope this video helped this is for the dawn 14 theme but i'm sure that the next versions will be compatible and if anything changes do leave me a comment and i will try to update this as soon as possible Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this, do like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.